what's up what's up y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt. if you're new here welcome i'm Brittany, and today's video is a braider vlog it's the top of the morning and i woke up craving tropical smoothie i was stuck between an acai bowl and a flat wrap because it is kind of early to be eating like that if you're coming then come um it is kind of early to be eating a whole sandwich i feel it's 9 30. Um, but I ordered it through DoorDash and I was just scared of how the texture would be or like if it'll be the same ordering it through DoorDash and versus going to the store to pick it up. So I just went with a regular smoothie and a flat wrap, but I literally eat a tropical smoothie two or three times a week. So don't be surprised if you see a acai bowl later in this vlog. I get the Paradise Point. It is strawberries, bananas, and pineapples. And then I have them to add mango. It's an extra dollar for mango. And then I love their salads. I love the acai bowls. I also love the flat wraps too. The um, chicken wraps, everything. But today, this is what I got. This is the Chipotle chicken wrap. And it came with salt and vinegar chips that I'll probably eat later. Right now, I'm just gonna take a couple bites of the flat wrap because I know I need to put something on my stomach, but I'm really not hungry. What I really wanted was that smoothie. So I'm gonna pray over my food, I'm gonna eat. My client Kaya will be here at 10 and we will vlog her appointment and go on from there with the work week. Turns out I didn't even have to spend that money on tropical smoothie because my client Kaya surprised me with my favorite dragon fruit and coconut milk refresher from Starbucks as well as the egg and potato bites. So I ate that too. It's about to go left. Ugh. I'm nervous. I thought people, you like, this don't scream like it's, it's a good idea. Yeah. Play. It's like a vengeance sword. <laughs> I'm glad. No more fighting. I, I don't think, I don't think she's this pristine. Okay. <laughs> I think it's my mama's boys that be sick. But it's he sends me a friend request. So, you know, like. But ironically, I think that Laura would do better with someone else in oh, yeah. her and my husband. Him, probably, yes. Yeah. Um, but he just gives me dudes. They're, they're so cute. cute. They're yeah. so cute. They're my favorite. <laughs> like, the whole thing with Patreon is that it's like the they they very much are like it is in their relationship. No, okay. well, that, well, you'll see. Okay, it's okay. it's weird. I was like <laughs> the only reason I wanted to Yeah, I was worried. I was like, oh, this looks a little, so little, little off. But it said Bernie's. So I was like, we're going to yeah, trust it. Yeah, I was like, we're going to trust it. <laughs> we're back on this. I was just like, well, today's y'all trash day. Yeah, oh, Wednesday. So much. But I saw your message literally right as I was starting in. Yeah. I'm not going to judge you for what you say to me. But I couldn't go through this every day. That oh, yeah, no, most definitely not. Like, that's exhausting. Because where is this coming from? Yeah. But it hurt me more than anything. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I was going to pick up blonde, and it was 28. They had a 28 and a 30. And I was sitting there like. Had the orange ones. I don't think we had orange Marley hair, so I didn't know that they were peeking out. To teach you how to do it. And mm. I literally, okay. a minute after you said that, he went over to Joe, who's our, our lead. And nope. Allowing a woman to help him. Yeah, and like most of the, there's a third party company that goes with you over our, uh, our work. Mm -hmm. And we uh, require like rocket science. Okay, so it's pretty easy to understand if you just read in detail and like gauge what you're looking at because yeah. it's design based so it's not like it's anything like theory crafting or anything yeah it's pretty it's relatively easy achy from like here to like my shoulder i was like yeah but you are trying to have a relationship yes. so you're gonna have to start something with but in the beginning i said that johnny's here for a good time it's it's always the couple that gives good energy yeah. has good energy around them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody else it comes from <laughs> peace. Yes. <laughs> no, cheers to you guys. No. And I was asleep. So what exactly did you want me to do? Clock in the morning. I would have acted so much differently than you. Just admit that you lied then. I'm not gonna lie to you about it. You decided to go with me, and I don't blame you. I was going for an hour. 
I only had one drink. You know, it was we more than a very short time, so I will give you that. So. Who's that? Mm -hmm. can't <laughs> Mighty out, and you're not with my team. I hear from someone from Seattle. It's her. It's all her. Way different things. I don't understand. Nope. Way different situations. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Oh my goodness. Did your fishing for me to tell you that I text my girlfriends all the time? I Security. And I mean, they're all out there. So. And a roller coaster. So. I was crying. Yeah, that's the one place that, like, of all the Asian countries, mm -hmm. Japan, like, is the least racist towards everybody. Because <laughs> I heard they're very sneaky. Yes. They don't like eating on, uh, like, eating and walking. Uh, So weird. Oh my God. Girl, listen. Yeah. When she started, like, mm -hmm. like, 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 yes, ma'am, absolutely. So Ooh, I had the blood dry there. Them, them kinks and coils was tight this morning. I was like, oh, oh, oh. What you been doing a wash and go? When did you take your last uh, style out? I took it out for uh, last Friday. Okay. Yeah. So I gave it to Probably stuff to fix here too. Sure. You know, that's the whole point of this process. We can't, we can't act. I'm a bit for this process. Let me... Somebody do some work. I ain't got nobody. I don't have... I ain't got nobody, so leave me alone. <laughs> ain't no staffing happening. <laughs> I, I can get out of that car, I'm good. You can click it either. Mm -hmm. I don't got it. The man... There's something about him that bothered me. Yeah, me too. too. He was a little too patient and understanding. He was... She, what you they first met up, mm -hmm. he tilled it. It wasn't it what he wasn't. He was wasn't, attracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was expecting yeah. Megan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and from then on he been reassuring her, but I don't believe it. I guess. I said the same thing because yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, he said I gotta be able to pick you up. I gotta uh, be able to Shay, that was his name. Yes. Shay. Put me Excuse me on your show. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Going with the process and Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Stop lying. Mm -hmm. That annoyed me for, for whatever. Mm -hmm. Less recent than your you don't like to set boundaries to make people comfortable. But as a man, knowing how men are, I had you once, I can always have you time. Friends. Okay, not as kids, mom, but mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. He's got one friend I know he's up with. And I'm hanging. Okay. They don't talk. They just they, they you know, every now and then they'll check mm -hmm. and talking about your current partner to your last mm -hmm. or to somebody you slept or you asking for favors. Or asking for favors. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And you crossing boundaries in both areas. Yeah. Because now you're sending mixed signals to the ex. Yes. Hell we mm -hmm. yes, there are boundaries that are put in place. And I said the hell he did. Mm -hmm. Gonna marry him. No, he ain't. <laughs> ain't no coming back this way. I never gave him that impression. Now, what is that? Something borrowed yeah. or yeah, yeah, something? Yeah. Yeah. Some One of my makeup artists used to do my makeup. She's like, you feel yourself cry, open your mouth, breathe through your mouth. I was like, oh, that I works. That heck. <laughs> it yep. does it? Yep, it does. Now, if you get ready to ugly cry, ain't nothing gonna oh, stop. Uh -uh. But stop. if it's one of those slow trickers, okay, let go dead. Open them up. Oh. You looking better and best dressed better than the uh, world. Yeah, oh my god, dang. Turn it green until they've got, until they've got a. Uh, yeah, put a plan. Yeah. Put a plan out there. Yeah. It went to iOS. No. Let's just put the damn thing on pause or hold. So we have a decision on. We don't have a go forward design. Put it on hold. Go back to the drawing. Table. Well, we don't have a. We still got to keep our folks engaged to get the design right. So, you know, we need. Well, I wasn't even supposed to be over here. Yeah. No, hell no, sis. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. I can literally go out here. She 
How much? Mm-mm. You would have tried to take her family out of the picture. Okay. Isolating her from her Yeah. Family. <laughs> get up. Yeah. If I talk for more than 30, 10 or 15 minutes, I just get up. Take a little while. Shine. Mama used to stick a little of that in some tea. I'm like, uh -huh. I got old and I was like, Mama, that, that was not supposed to be you edible. Not you know that, right? To consume no Vicks, not a lot of it. Yeah. Just a little. They're gonna find a way to get to them. Mm -hmm. It's time to cut treat that. Well, she brand new. She brand new in LA, baby. Please. That's all I can say, girl. Bye. Please. Thank you. 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 Because she is Wendy Passes away with nothing but inflated balloons. Mm -hmm. But well, she's so little. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, Goose. Oh, yeah. Sean lets her do whatever. That's why she likes Sean. Mm -hmm. Now the following day and I had a couple's appointment for my girl Mimi and her fiance Mark and they brought their baby Jelani. So the three of them came to hang out with me for the day. Mark went up first because he was the quickest. He has about 30 to 40 dreads at the top. So I did a retwist for him. While I was retwisting his hair, Mimi went and grabbed us some lunch. So I'm just showing y'all my garlic parmesan chicken tenders and fries. Ate on that, went back to retwisting the last couple rows of his hair. And then I put him under the dryer so I can get started on Mimi's hair. Now I'm just showing y'all the hair as I unpackage it. I've never used this brand before. It's like a deep wave hair, but I normally would use Free Trust for a style like this. This brand is called Kima Braid. And it was really, really soft. It's me and Mimi goofing off. She is a fool. But yeah, I'm just unpackaging the hair. And yeah, not much else to explain here. I end up pulling out some wine because I consider them to be VIP clients. So once I got the ball rolling on Mimi's hair and Mark was done, I went and got the Stella Black. We had some wine. I put some fruit in it. And we just enjoyed our day. They were my only two people for the day. So I was able to take my time. And they both got something really simple. So I was enjoying having them there. The baby was behaving. It was a nice peaceful appointment. So I'm going to just let y'all watch me work. Hey you guys, today is Friday. I don't know the date right now. <laughs> I don't know the date right now, but I'm about to do hair. I've shown y'all mostly every client that I've done the past day or two. I haven't really been talking to y'all. I don't know why I lost my touch with braided vlogs. I've just been on some stuff like, oh, I'm braiding. Let me pick up the camera. Oh, a client is coming. Let me start recording. But I haven't been talking to y'all about what's been going on or what's happening. So 
Of course, when I edit this, I probably did some type of voiceover to kind of narrate what you guys seen before this point. But yeah, we're now in the third day of the vlog and we're getting into some more appointments today. I have two people today. My first appointment is getting knotless and my second appointment, she's coming to me. And then my second appointment is getting um, some type of box braid style. I forgot what she... <laughs> I forgot what she would, but I know I'm going to her house and she already told me everything is there waiting for me. That'll be later this afternoon. So I'll vlog her appointment as well. But I just wanted to come in and say, hey, be a little more personable with y'all today and moving forward in this vlog. So yeah, right now I'm about to make me some tea. I started to feel like I was coming down with something. And then when I went to check the mail yesterday, I seen it was little greenish yellow flurs on the driveway. And I said, oh, that's what's going on pollen season because my head was hurting like pounding 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 and then just nose running sniffles and now my throat feel like it's about to close so i got some water in the microwave now i'm heating up water i didn't even feel like going through the business of getting my kettle ready and all of that stuff i got a kettle for tea a kettle where i boil hair for hair appointments my main kettle that I use to make tea with has already been packed and I don't want to boil no darn water in no kettle that I use to dip my client's hair with. So I'm just using a microwave right now. I'm about to add some sugar and honey and whatever, all the works to it. But that's just to help soothe my throat. As far as the allergies itself, I have to take some Claritin. I need to find some non-drowsy though. But yeah. My client just rang the doorbell, so let's go answer the door and get started on her hair, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> Good morning. How are you? Good. Hey y'all, I was eating a little bit of my lunch I ordered, some hibachi man. I gotta find out the name of the place and put it on the screen, but I door dashed it once again because we haven't been doing heavy, heavy grocery shopping. And as y'all may notice, the room is kind of unorganized. But here on what would be like our little festive snack cart, I last did Valentine's Day, didn't bother to do St. Patty's, Easter, none of that because we're getting ready to move. So this room is in a disarray because a lot of this stuff is getting boxed up soon. But yeah, I've been eating out a lot. It's really not good. Um, but I had to put something on my stomach because I'm getting ready to head to that house call that I was telling y'all about. I had someone this morning. Holly just left from getting her knot list. I ate some food and now I'm about to head to my client with Yolanda's house to do her hair. And we'll see where the rest of the day goes. We are gonna deep clean this room and begin to pack majority of my tools and decor stuff I know I'm not gonna be using between now and the next few weeks when I move. I'm gonna go ahead and just start boxing some of that stuff up, leaving out the products I'm gonna need. And of course, putting away the stuff I won't need. It'll be super exciting in the next spot to redecorate, kind of transfer some of this stuff into the new place and add to it. Um, but yeah, this house is just not what we want anymore. So so please just ignore, somebody is thirsty for my attention. I think she know I'm getting ready to go. But yeah, just ignore my environment in this vlog. Um, somewhere 
tomorrow we will be getting this room together um and making it just a better work environment for me to close out these next couple of weeks um but yeah i got my little travel rack with me i wish i could take my braid bestie with me everywhere that i go she is my best friend i really wish she could come with me but she can't i had this little tripod y'all i will link it on um, down below i got it off amazon and i really really love it it stretches really tall about as tall as me or you can sit it on the table um it holds your phone it can go horizontal or vertical it comes with a little ring light which i haven't charged but it does work and it comes with the remote you just slide it out like that and if you want to take your own pictures it has a little clicker thing really cool i'm gonna take this with me so i can possibly try to vlog this house call that i'm about to go to i want to say she's getting out this i know for a fact she's getting little curly pieces added so this rack will be to hold the curly pieces if she is getting out this this will hold the pre-stretched hair and the curly hair we'll see how it goes i'm about to pack a couple of combs and some braid and wax this was marked down on clearance when i last went to beauty master this big container was like seven dollars and it's usually 12 to 13 dollars a container like this of shining gem is normally what i would use and i still have all my shining gem <clears throat> I don't know why that bird is acting like that. But with this, what I've been noticing is a little goes a long way. I started this container three days ago and I haven't even really put a dent in it. Well, maybe, maybe like a fourth of it is gone, which that's crazy for about five to six heads. Cause normally one container of shining jam between five to six heads, that'll be one jar of shining jam will do about five people. So to have done five people plus and still have a good amount, majority of this love, that's exciting because the product works really well. I've used it before, but now I think I want to go back to it. Um, even when it's not discounted, it costs a little more, but it stretches a while. So I'll be adding this to the mix more often along with the shiny gem that I just continuous that I'm continuing to love. But yeah, I wanted to mention that to you guys. It says lock and twist it is advertised to be used for micro locks, inner locks, dreadlocks, and faux locks. But baby, for knotless braids, box braids, and all of that, it does the job as well. So this is my new baby. I don't want to take her, but I only have one container. I probably need to take, I probably need to take a shiny gem. If I just don't want to take this with me, what if I leave it over there? I've been loving this stuff. But yeah, I'm getting my stuff together. I will see y'all when we get to Miss Yolanda's house and we'll continue on from there. I make it over to Miss Yolanda's house and she got the kids pre-stretched hair. I suggest this when you're getting like a shorter boho style when you don't want it down your back, boho bobs, things of that nature. So I take the curly pieces I had mentioned to y'all early before. She knew she wanted boho. That's why I brought my rack. So I'll go ahead and start putting her human pieces on the rack. She used Milky Way. That was her hair of preference today. And then I'm showing y'all again the pre-stretched hair that I like to use for shorter boho styles. She ended up making me a cocktail, y'all. We had two of these drinks. She had brought some rum punch from her recent trip to Jamaica and let me try it. Man, we were feeling too good. She put me on the show BMF. I watched the whole current season, well, up to where the episodes are now, um, to the most current episode, should I say. I foamed it down, got the hair flowy and nice. And before you know it, it was time for me to head back home. She really loved her hair. So it was a successful day. Now we're rolling into another day of the vlog. It is the very next morning. I'm showing y'all my smoothie bowl from Tropical Smoothie that I was so happy to get during my friend Kay's hair appointment, which I did not vlog because we filmed a whole separate video. So stay tuned for that. What's up, y'all? So it is now Saturday, March 16th. Um, today was another working day, but my friend Kay came and we had planned to do content. It's going to be a watch me work slash tutorial. Oh, my hair fuzzy. I have not been tying these locks up and it shows. Um, but, but yeah, 
But yeah, I reached out to her a couple of weeks ago and asked her if she would mind. Um, if she didn't mind, I wanted to do the Shirley Temple braids. I have been doing them, should I say. I've done the knotless version and the box braid version, like what we did today. But I never get content. So I was asking her if I could film a YouTube video on how I do them. And she agreed to it. So she got the hair and came over today and we filmed that. And then, um, and now I'm about to call my other friends because we're supposed to meet up to go to Papa Do's. I'm going to see if we still on and I'll get dressed and we'll go do that. But other than that, I was supposed to be packing up this room today. Not going to happen because I stayed up till 2 a.m. And Kay's appointment was at 9 and um we just spent the last maybe five hours filming that video it take about four hours to do that type of style but getting the angles stopping starting um i had stopped and ordered some doordash i had got a smoothie bowl from smooth tropical smoothie my favorite little spot we got back to filming i'll put a couple clips in here maybe y'all seen that already but mostly i want y'all to just watch that video within itself it's probably gonna be maybe a 10 minute video so Make sure y'all check that out. And yeah, I'm not vlogging any other appointments today. Tomorrow, we'll probably do like some behind the scenes things. Like as far as cleaning, continuing to pack up this room, different stuff like that. So this will probably be the end of the appointments in this video. Hey, you guys. Hey. So today is the final day of the vlog. I'm working today, but it's a light day. It's Sunday. Q is about to dye one of my clients hair. My client Josh has been searching for a specific color. He's gone to salons when he had his hair dyed a couple times and just has not been able to get the color that he wants for his dress. Q dyes my sister Trell's hair and does an amazing job. And so he sees her hair when he comes to his appointments and he asked if she could dye his. So she's gonna dye his today. He wants like a cinnamon gingery color mix that after she colors it washes it washes it and conditions it i'll do the retwist in the style so i'll come in at the end of his appointment and retwist his hair q's gonna do his hair in here i have a lot of tools to clean so i'm gonna try to move around them clean up some tools for the week another busy week approaching um the vlog was supposed to actually go up today on sunday but i want to vlog the things that I'm doing today. So it may go up tonight or sometime tomorrow afternoon. I'm about to fix me some soup and take some Benadryl, y'all. My allergies have really just gotten the best of me. I don't even know if y'all can see, but this eye, I woke up and it was almost swollen shut. The swelling has gone down. I tried not to rub my eyes like I normally would when I first wake up. And then I gently wash my face. Um, I don't know what the puffiness in this eye has going on. You have to really look at it now to even be able to tell because it's gone down. But this eye was, I don't know what's going on. If it's pollen or if it's, I don't know what it could be. But I'm feeling better than I did when I woke up. I was thinking I may have to cancel clients, but I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to give it like another 24 hours before I go to urgent care or try to like book with the primary doctor um to get tested for flu or covid but i don't think it's it y'all i just think that the seasons are changing that's all i wanted to say happy sunday happy saint patty's day i'm in the house with it i'm in the house <laughs>